Let's go. Boa, do it. One, two, three, four. Hi guys, welcome back. So here we have the song which is uh, Dovid by Boa, if I'm not wrong, maybe vice versa. But um, there's plenty of videos online out there showing guys how to play the song, including mine. But this is gonna be the best video right now. I'll clear out all your single doubt. This song is really a bit tricky, especially this part. So what I'll do is I'll start off with the hard part. We'll choose the hard one at the beginning. We'll master the hard part and then we'll move on to this, which is fairly easy. And then at the end of the video, we'll move on to the rhythm section. So get ready with the guitar. It should be in the strand tuning. I think my is in. Let me tune. All right. So now since we are properly tuned, uh, let's get ready. We'll be finger picking. So the right hand, I'll go thumb for the D string, index for the G string, middle finger for the B string, ring finger for the high E string. Guys, please just master this. So thumb, index, middle, ring. That's all you need to know. D, G, B, E. The first shape I have, B string third fret, G string fourth fret, D string fifth fret, pinky on the high E string fifth fret. I'll switch on the AC because it's getting too hot and I'll be frustrated if I don't. So it goes like this. I pluck the D string and the high E string together. After that, I'll play BG, just like that. And after that, I'll play EBG four times like this. Three more times. That cleared all your doubts, right? So we got. Now we'll slide the shape up over here. So now we have B string, 8th fret, middle finger on G string, 9th fret, uh, pinky on the high E string, 10th fret. We will remove the ring finger. So what I'll do is I'll simply play EBG. Now I'll lift off my pinky and put my ring finger on the 9th fret of the high E string. I'll play the shape EBG. So we got. Then I'll go to this shape. My ring finger on 7 of E. Middle finger on G7. Index on B string 5th fret. Don't call this stretchy at least. This isn't stretchy. So I'll play EBG. Let's do it together from the beginning. Three, four, five. Now I'll add the high E string. Nine fret with your pinky. You still have G string, seven fret, B string, fifth fret. You can do anything you want. You can play it like this, like this, or maybe like this. It's up to you. But this is very comfortable for me, so I'll play it like this. I'll play E B G E B G. The ring is hanging. It's not pressing anything. So E B G E B G. Do it twice, E, B, G, E, B, G. Then I'll play 10th fret on the high E string. I'm going. Now the thing is, uh, guys, uh, sometimes you can just make your own rules. So instead of plucking the G string with your index, you can pluck it with your thumb sometimes to make it easy and your middle finger can pluck the B string, I'm sorry, the high E string in that case, 
and index can clock the B string. So since we are playing it like this, we are a bit fast. So we'll uh, try to do it with the thumb and the other fingers. We we'll kind of like uh, keep the ring aside just for this part. So sometimes you gotta make your own rule. So we got, we are following the rules now. Still following. Now we come out of the rule. So now we have 12 fret on E and the G string, 10 fret on B. I'll simply pluck the G and the high E string together over here. Then I'll play B, G. Then I'll stretch my pinky to the 14th fret of the high E string. I'll pluck the G and E string again. Then B, then G. So we got. Then I'll lift off the pinky and play the shape. E, B, G. So I'm plucking the G and the high E string together. If you don't want to, you can like just play E, B, G instead of plucking the G and high E string together. It's up to you. So we got. Then I'll go to this shape. 10th fret on E, 8th fret on B, G9. The shape which we played before, we'll play. We'll pluck the G and high E string. Then B, G. Then next shape, this one. So 9th uh, uh, fret on the high E string. So we got Then again I'll play this shape So after this one I'll come back to this one I'll play same thing Then I'll go to this shape 5th fret on B, G string 7th fret the high E string the, the stretchy one Played once, then I'll play this one. So seven fret on E, uh, G, B five, and then I'll play this shape once, just once. So, or you can just try it once. So, uh, another way of playing this is just to play the chords and don't have to do the finger picking because that's tough. But playing the chords on the other hand are very easy. So you can do this. Sorry. And I'll just do the whole thing very slowly guys. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be working hard. I'll try to put the tabs in a such a way that which will make you guys a lot easy to understand. So uh, for that you guys do need to subscribe because I'm working hard for you guys. So subscribe close to 20k. Guys we want to reach 50k by the end of this year. So. Your support is all I need. So let's do this. One, two, three, four. E B G E B G E B G E B G. This one. E B G E B G. This one. E B G E B G E B G. Ten. Pum pam 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 pam. Right. One more time. We'll play it another time because I know this is really very hard. So we got the last bars are tough. So pum 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 pum. See that one more time. Back to the shape. And this one, stretchy, then normal, and then G. So yeah, the second part is pretty much same. I'll go start in the exact same way, no change. Then from these two chords, we'll do this. I'll play the shape twice. So G and high E string plucked together as always. Then this shape. Again repeat. Repeat. Then I'll do this. What I'll do is the third time I'll pluck the G and high E string together. 
then i'll play the g string and then i'll go to the next step with the same thing pluck g string so pam 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 so pam pam so then i'll go back again the fourth time we'll play the same thing we'll pluck g and high e string together then b g same for the next shape 14 14 on e and uh, g 12 on b and then i'll take this shape all the way up to the end of the guitar 19 fret of e 19 fret of g b string 17 fret i'll play e b g so again i'm plucking the g and high e string together i'll play like four times and i'll just like strum and end it so from that change we have this the second part much easier than the first part what i'll do one now is i'll just play from the very beginning uh i'll advise just don't get traumatized by such different shapes movements both for your right hand as well as your left hand cuz you really have to sync up and play so this will definitely take a lot a lot of time if not little so uh, just practice very slowly Now just tell me who will put this much effort and I'm pretty sure there are plenty of videos which I watch right now and I also made one video including mine and uh that was also wrong in some parts so most of the videos are wrong uh, I can say this is basically one of them which is completely accurate this pretty much no videos I saw which was showing you guys the proper way to play the song and uh on the other hand uh I was actually learning this song right now watching my own video because i made this lesson a while ago i think 4 or 5 months back so uh and i was like a bit confused after watching my video so i thought i have to make another video because i think you guys got a bit frustrated after watching the video so it's my job to deliver you guys properly so uh they have it after that we have that part uh which is a lot more not complicated i'll say Uh, it starts off like this on the G string. I'll do a hammer on to a pull off. If you guys aren't, aren't familiar with hammer on, it's when you hammer. It's simply like a hammer. Like suppose you're hammering, you play nine fret on G, and I'm telling you to hammer the eleven fret. So you will hammer it with your ring finger. That's it. And when I say pull off, it's just the opposite. You're having eleven fret. You will play that note, and, and on the other hand, you still have nine fret on the G string. You will just lift off your ring finger after playing the note. So that's the difference between hammer on and pull off. Just vice versa of each other. So now I'll do this. I hammer on to a pull off on 11 to 12 to 11. You can do this, but that won't really have that song's vibe. The song has it. So, so da da da. Now we'll do a hammer on to a pull off from 12, 14, 12. So we got. Now I'll slide from 14 to 16 on G. Then slide from. 14 to 15 on B string Then I slide from 15 to 17 on the B string And then you can do this with one finger that should be the amount of power which hold you shouldn't be bending with all your fingers develop some strength guys so we are bending it with just the index finger 14th fret of the high E string it's like a half step bend I bend up I come down so Maybe you're doing this and you're not able to push cuz you are weak you should be eating guys So we got Such a beautiful bend then we have this This time again you can do the bend uh, repeat So make sure you come up the you come up and down so ta Then I'll do Uh, 15, 17, 15 on the B string. So hammer on, pull off. 
and then I'll go to the B string 10 12 10 and then I'll go to the G string 11 12 11 and then on the D string I'll do this I'll do this slide like a couple of times I'm going 7 9 7 9 so you know, and slide it's all by its name you're just sliding it right so we got The second part, the it's exactly same. So then we have this. Just a second, the the second part of the second part gets a bit different. Now that's pretty confusing. So 17 to 19, 17 on the high E string. Hammer on, pull off. See that? If you don't have 19 fret, I'm really feeling sorry for, sorry for you. In that case, you can bend. So if you don't have 19 fret, you have an 18 fret guitar, you can bend on the 17 fret like you did for the 14 fret. So just like that. Then 14, 15, 14. Hammer on pull off. Then 15, 17, 15 on the B string. So we got. Sorry. Then again 10, 12, 10 on the B string. And then we have a, cu a couple of hammer on on uh, G11, 12, 11, 12, like this. And then we can do this on the D string 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11. So, so we got the second part. Now from the beginning I played much easier than what we learned before. Instead of sliding it from 9 11, you can even play 11 12 11 12. It's up to you. You can just like you can improvise at your notes. So, uh, this was the, the hard section of the song. I'll say, guys, you have learned this, which means now you're left with learning the easy one. So, uh, this is a video which I made separately, but I'll be like combining two videos maybe. So, part one done. Uh, take some rest, maybe grab a coffee. But I think you don't need a coffee because. Uh, uh, the next part is super easy, so why not learn it together and then we'll go for the full break. Let's do it.